唐纳德·川普在二零二零年总统大选后不甘失败，企图推翻大选结果。为此，在他的白宫幕僚及外部同盟的联合运作下，煽动了二零二一年一月六日的国会山暴乱。这次暴乱震惊世界，美国的民主法治制度经历了一次前所未有的考验，但最终美国人民胜利了。川普和他的马嘎未能得逞，作恶必将被法律制裁。川普目前已经被四次刑事指控。指控罪状达九十一项。下面这一段是一月六日特别调查委员会听证会上播放的，川普在二零二一年一月七日录制对暴乱谴责表态时的脚本片段。他的女儿伊万卡在一旁协助完成。Twenty-four hours after the last time he had addressed the nation from the Rose Garden, let's take a look. Whenever you're ready, sir. I would like to begin by addressing the heinous attack yesterday, and to those who broke the law, you will pay. You do not represent our movement. You do not represent our country. And if you broke the law, you can't say that. I'm not. Gonna, you, I already said you will pay. The demonstrators who infiltrated the Capitol have defied the seat of justice. It's defiled, right? See, I can't see it very well. Okay, I'll I'll do this. I'm going to do this. Let's go. But this election is now over. Congress has certified the results. I don't want to say the election's over. I just want to say Congress has certified the results without saying the election's over. Okay. But Congress is certified. Now Congress. Is yeah. Right. Like, now Congress. Is I didn't say over. So let let me see. Don't go to the paragraph before. Okay. I would like to begin by addressing the heinous attack yesterday. Yesterday is a hard word for me. Just take that. The heinous the attack. Heinous attack ah, good. Take the word yesterday because it doesn't work with the heinous attack on our country. Say on our country. Want to say that? No. no, no, no. My only goal was to ensure the integrity of the vote. My only goal was to ensure the integrity of the vote. Look at Trump's face. He, for his own interests, willingly accepted the 